here with Expansion Insider TJ Pittenger. Now let's go into the opportunity for the Big 12 and the ACC to merge. Is there any likelihood that's going to happen? Um, well, you find out here. Could you see a scenario back to conference realignment specifically yep. where the ACC and the Big 12 kind of join forces and not just like we invite these four teams more like right. they they merge? Uh, it's as likely as the super conference happening. And I, it's tough to say there's a number less than zero, but I wish there was <laughs> to quantify this. There is no way. And maybe, maybe two years ago, you know, when the big 12 was truly desperate, but we're in an era now where Brett, your marks, the aggressor, if given the opportunity to either merge with a conference that we've seen has had either leadership issues currently or in the past that are enough to have the foundation of that league be so shaky, that's going to fall apart. That's that's desperation. Brett, your mark feels as though, hey, I, I don't need Boston College. I, I don't need, you know, we talk about the, the mark. Oh, well, what about the Boston? Nope. Mm-mm. They're not profitable. I don't need Syracuse. I don't need Wake Forest. Why would we try to merge? Why would we create a 30 a team Super League where we still got Cal and Stanford hanging out there and don't really know what to do with them? Yeah. Uh, your mark instead says, hey, these four teams are kind of in the middle zone here. I like Louisville. Let me take these guys and make us profitable, make us better. And no reason to try to save you, Jim Phillips, and wrap ourselves in what was supposed to be the greatest college basketball conference ever and ended up killing the league altogether. How much of a reduced rate would those teams have to come in at if if they oh. did <laughs> Dude, it makes me it makes me think of like an SMU. You know, I yeah. and I love going back to the SMU topic because it seems like from their administrative standpoint, even the last 2-3 decades, things have just been so discombobulated in from a sports perspective. They said, hey, big middle finger to everybody in our conference. We're going to the ACC and we're going to pay for it. And the day they get there, you're like bags packed. They show up at the front door of the university and the dean comes out and is like, yeah, we're being audited. I think they're going to close down the university. Uh, you know, how crazy is that? That SMU walks to the ACC and the second they get there, you talk about the conference falling apart altogether. So if that league is desperate enough that they would call SMU who is desperate enough to pay its way for a decade in their conference, you know, and, and now they're asking, Hey, could you maybe save this team or that team? Uh, if you're looking at the Boston college, the reduced rate would be unreal, unreal. It wouldn't make sense for that, for that program. And, the reason I keep bringing up Boston College is they are so far behind a Washington State who the Big 12 balked at yeah. or right in that region of Oregon State who the Big 12 balked at. So now Brett Yormark is being very selective. And if you get a Louisville, hello. You know, they're an ESPN property that I believe the TV network will be able to work out with the conference. We can give them a full cut for Syracuse. Sorry, there's just no way. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Uh, Drake, where can people follow you? Where can they find your show? Locked on Big 12 at LOB12 on Twitter. Locked on Big 12 is wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. Uh, it's kind of like Tiger in 05, uh, you know, it's like the when the U.S. beat the Russians in the Olympics. It's like your first kiss every day, though, in podcast form. It's just the beauty of life and sports at Locked on Big 12. Love it. Thank you, man, for joining me. I appreciate it. Dude, an absolute pleasure. This whole expansion stuff. I, I do want to before I we, we close it out. It sucks, right? Like I know that I, I'm, I've made light a bit of of a Syracuse or a Wake Forest. That really is one of their fans has got to suck to hear. Same it did for sure. for Washington State and Oregon State. But then again, you know, in in this world of college football where money is king, this has been happening to teams for decades, and it it's part of the business. I, I think the the intrigue of of discussion of where we could go and where it could go for teams like Florida State or the ACC as a whole. I, I hope the best for you, but. Oof. In capitalism, in business, it just doesn't look, it looks bleak for some of these squads. And I, I'm sorry, it's, it's a tough subject, but I'm glad we could talk about it together. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Game Time. Game Time is the place to go when you need last second tickets. The, you ever heard of the, a guy named Billy Strings? He's coming to town in a couple of weeks, and I really wanted to buy tickets to go see him here in Savannah. And I was like, ah, you know, they're kind of expensive. Luckily, with game time, those tickets drop with last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find to buy any concert ticket or any kind of event in your area, even the MLB. Views from all the seats in the venue, lowest price guaranteed, event cancellation protection, job loss protection. Right now, they have, the flash deals make you save even more with exclusive in app deals on select seats ahead of the game or the event. Game time will always guarantee you the very best price as well. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use code locked on college for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again, create an account, redeem code locked on college for $20 off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, and that's guaranteed. 
Colorado, Deion Sanders. I believe they're being undervalued by the rest of the country with one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Let's talk about it. 